Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, well, you saw what just happened. So how many of you actually shed a tear while watching that? I ain't gonna lie, I shed quite a few tears while my husband Matt was cutting that up. Um, it was very upsetting, um, but let me explain why. So I finally heard back from the shipping company Freightcom who has been dealing with UPS um, and UPS finally agreed to accept the claim and um, provide me with a settlement payment for the damaged painting. So they confirmed that UPS was going to pay me for the damages and all of that which was great. And I, they said, I said, all right, perfect. And then I got another email saying, oh, by the way, before UPS sends you the money, they need proof of destruction. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? They're like, well, it means you need to destroy the painting and send them proof on letterhead, nonetheless, proof that you have destroyed the painting and discarded it. Um, so needless to say, that was very heartbreaking for me to read. Um, you know, so in order for me to get payment for their mistakes and their screw up and their carelessness, I had to destroy, you know, a piece that I worked so hard on and, you know, it was either that or don't get paid the money that they owed me, which I now will use that. And I have to going to be making Amy a new painting, uh, not a 24 by 48. I will be doing two 24 by 24s, which will make it easier for me to ship to her in Florida. So that will be an upcoming video at some point. But um, yeah, my husband and I went out to the back and uh, he used his tool and cut it up. So the rest of it's in the garbage. Um, this is all I have left, um, and I, it, I really, really didn't want to throw it away. It, my husband's like, well, why are you keeping that? And I said, because I don't have the heart to throw the whole thing away. And this is the one piece that had my name on it in the back, too. So um, I'm going to keep it for now, unless I change my mind, but I'm going to keep it for now. I tried to see if I could cut the frame out of it and, you know... Um, cut these ragged uh jagged edges but you can't because it's just resin but um you know i would have liked to maybe you know i don't know i don't know but anywho so that's what happened so now i must send um that video evidence and pictures um to freightcom so that they can pass that on to uh ups and they can confirm that I have in fact destroyed the painting and there's no way I can resell it now because it's destroyed. Like why would I have resold it? There was, I would never resell it. I was actually going to donate it either to um, my local dentist or to the vet where Juno and Echo go. I was going to donate it, um, but I can't even do that. So it's sad and it's unfortunate, but that's what's happening. For those of you wondering about Michaels and the Artist Loft, I am still in touch with the lady from head office. They are still working on, um, you know, figuring out what's going on. What I do know is they have pulled the bottles off the shelf, the white bottles off the shelves in most Michaels from what I know, and they're no longer online. However, if you are in the US, how lucky for you, because the U.S. Michaels sells what you guys call a pro pack and you can get six bottles in a box for dirt cheap. So I'm very jealous about that. Um, it really sucks that Canada U.S. Uh, Canada Michaels, sorry, doesn't do these pro packs like they do in the U.S. Uh, completely unfair and sucks. But on the bright side, I want to say a huge thank you to Paul S., um, who sent me uh, Artist Loft 2019 bottle um, of paint from the US. Um, Paul, I cannot thank you enough. You are extremely generous, but here's the kicker. Not only did he send me one bottle, he sent me two bottles. No, wait, he sent me three bottles. Paul, 
like I cannot say thank you enough. Um, it really means the world to me. This is my go-to paint. Yes, I do use Amsterdam and I do love Amsterdam, but this is my go-to paint. And I cannot thank you enough for sending me three bottles of 2019. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you guys before I get started, uh, or two things is, do you guys remember the sculpted panels I was showing you? Um, I finally, one month later, <laughs> finished my sculpted panel ocean piece. I just finished it yesterday. Um, for those of you who are interested, yes, there is a video tutorial on this. It's going to be a long one and it'll be up next week. So the next video after this will be the tutorial on this. If you are interested in um, watching this and how I made this piece, um, it's a lot of, it was a lot of work. I'm not going to lie, um, but it turned out amazing. I really love it. So if you want to learn how, stay tuned for the video, the next video. All right. Uh, very excited about that. Okay. So you guys saw my last video where I did my beautiful Tiffany blue base with, um, you know, my favorite colors. And I did the, you know, that blowout. And a lot of you said in the comments, it was beautiful, but we want to see it with your regular Dutch pour and your wispy lines. So that is what I am doing today. Uh, I mixed up some more of this beautiful paint. And let me show you actually how the other one is drying. It's almost dry. Is it almost dry? Yeah, almost. Just a little bit wet in the middle, but it's drying beautifully. So you can see, you know, comparing to the wet paint, it's actually still the same color, which is amazing. And you can see how the silver is shimmering in that. So this is still almost dry. Let me see. Yeah, there's a little bit of shine there in the middle. Can you see that right there in the middle? So it's almost dry. This piece is available for purchase for anyone who is interested in this piece. So I decided to do the same colors and do my wispies. As you can see, I've kind of drawn out my lines of how I want it to go. Um, and the colors, I only changed one color, one color out of the last video. So my base paint is my Amsterdam turquoise green, but I mixed a lot of Amsterdam's titanium white to get this really beautiful Tiffany color. Okay, so I even put some in uh, a squeeze bottle, Loli Vefi squeeze bottle, because I plan on using this color in future pours because it's a really pretty color. And then the colors I'm going to be using for the blowout, we, and I changed the order a little bit too. So we have silver by Amsterdam, all right? Then I have phthalo turquoise by Holbein. And then this is where I switched it up. In the last video, I used turquoise blue by Holbein, but I decided to choose iridescent blue green by Pebeo because I really love the shimmer and the iridescent. And then topping it off, we have Vin Vinder. Windsor Violet by Windsor and Newton, okay? So those are my colors. Here's the base color here, just like so. Here's, I like showing you guys the base colors. We'll do that, base color and base color. So I made two cups full. So we uh, should be enough, especially because I have some in this bottle here. This, I'm gonna use this to do my sides with. So there you have it, those are the colors. Now I just mixed this paint like half hour ago. So there's a lot of air bubbles in it, but that's okay. All right, so this is my base. I'm going to start with the purple. Yep, that was my order. Silver was gonna be on the bottom and there we go. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna flood these canvases. You can see here, I'm using my furniture levelers. There you go. You can find these on Amazon in my Amazon shop. These are the greatest things ever. Uh, it makes sure my pieces are level. All you gotta do is just turn the bottom of the foot here and you can raise it, you know, whichever corner you need to level them out. They are 
like lifesavers, let me tell you, okay? You can find those in my Amazon shop. Link is in the description. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I am ready to go. So I've covered my canvases, which by the way, these canvases are two uh, 10 by 20 inch canvases. So this is what we call a diptych. Okay, so 10 by 20 inch canvases. Uh, let's get started. And now I, you saw me put my little red marker lines because I wanted to remember which way my uh, lines and wispies and all that were going. So let's start with the silver and the middle of my canvas would be right there. So we were going like this and then like this. And then from here, we went to the middle and just a little out. So from here we go in the middle and just a little out. So I haven't really done that before. I just realized I don't even have my hair dryer here or plugged in. What else is new, Canela? It is the middle of the afternoon, and it's a, actually it's a Saturday. Um, I'm recording this way in advance when you guys, by the time you guys see it, because uh, we are doing some fun stuff with the kids this weekend, uh, going to some friends. It is a long weekend for us, because it's a holiday on Monday. So I had to do this video in advance so that I can keep up with my schedule of posting every three days. All right, and here we go, four colors. And let me get my hair dryer. I don't know if I should get my little one or my normal one. I think I'm gonna get my normal one. Let's pop the bubbles, air bubbles. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. I just know it. All right, let me get my hair dryer. Totally forgot. I have been busy working on some resin pieces. Obviously that ocean piece was one of them. All right, so I am going to start with blowing into the negative space and then work my way for the rest because you always want to make sure you have enough paint to blow into the negative space. So I'm gonna go this way and then figure out the rest as I go. Let's get started. that was hard to blow out there oh, but the rest is so pretty I love up here and I love down here I had a little bit of a hard time you know I'm really regretting using this I probably should have used the little flower hair dryer so shame on me for not thinking about you know second guessing myself but uh, I'm gonna have to fix this a lot over here uh, blow a little bit out over there. So I really should have used the little guy. I don't know why I decided to go with the big one. So 
silly me. I want to get rid of that. Let's see, I'm going to use my finger and just go whoop like that and scrape that off like so, which means I also have to scrape it off the side because you don't want paint, colored paint, where there is no colored paint coming off the edge, right? So, oh, better turn the lid. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, that's better, much better. Now, what have we got going here? I think I'm just gonna fix this a little bit in the center, if I can reach it without making a mess. Lots of purple in there. All right, and I think I'm gonna leave that. All right. Oh, I really like it. I love these colors. I really I got an itch on my ankle. <laughs> I really love these colors. Uh oh, doggy hair. All right, gone. I'm going to fix my corner and like so all right i don't think there's anything else i want to mess with um no i really wait and when you see the close-up this part here and this part here are my favorite pieces all right i'm going to fix my edges and i'll be right where's my do doohickey thingy here it is i'll be right back all right, everybody, I have gone ahead and fixed my drips. Now I, or fixed my sides, I mean. Now I must scrape my drips. Don't forget to scrape your drips. Okay, super important. Scrape those off, okay? Do it two or three times all the way around. All right, let's check out. Look how pretty it is. I love it, and I love this Tiffany color and I really hope the camera is actually capturing the turquoise-ness in it because from my view right here through the camera lens it looks blue so look how pretty and now when you turn the lights off it's gonna shimmer so here's one of my favorite parts those cells there look really neat I like that now let's move over to this side and there's some more clusters there I really love this piece. So actually, do you guys want to see more um, pieces with a base color instead of white? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I was actually thinking about, I'll show you guys in a minute actually. Let me get it. And then I'll turn the lights off and we'll look at the shimmer. Hold on. All right, let's check out the shimmer, which I know there's definitely going to be shimmer. Yep, lots of it because of the silver and of course, <laughs> the iridescent blue green by pebeo so definite shimmer happening in this piece let's just check the other side real quick so if anyone is interested in this diptych you know what to do email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com these will get a top coat of crystal resin when they are dry. Very pretty. So there you have it, everybody. Let me know what you think about these in the comments below. Um, do you like the new background? And speaking of backgrounds, should I do something different like this? Um, I've had these for a while and I actually haven't even used them. So we have what's called reflex green. So it's like a neon green. And then look at this one 
reflex orange. Like how bright is that? I'm not really sure what I would do uh, in terms of colors with this. I'll have to think about it, but um, let me know your thoughts. Should I do a green background or should I do an orange background in an upcoming future video? So let me know and I'll pick one and we'll go from there. So that's it from me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for those of you who were bummed to see my painting get hacked up. I will keep you posted on that nonsense. Um, and I think that's it for now. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.